Hi, my name is Patricia Gannon and I'm living and, and working in Woodpoint House, Cork McSherry. It's in County Cork, South of Ireland. I run a guest house mainly for fishermen and the fish that they catch, I cook for them. I love to cook fish. But of course, here in Cork McSherry, we don't have any old bass. We have bass direct from the estuary, Cork McSherry bass the finest and the freshest. I'm in the very fortunate situ situation where I can catch my own bass. I can leave the house, walk a couple hundred yards, cast my rod and catch a bass. So here is what we're normally dealing with. Bass this size. Isn't he just beautiful? Firstly, for a bass of this size, the one thing you definitely do need is a sharp knife. So the first thing you do is sharpen your knife. I'm going to get rid of the entrails. So, it's all quite easy. Just make an incision. And here we go. The one thing you have to make sure of when you are um, cleaning a bass and filleting a bass is to make sure you have a sharp knife. But equally, be sure not to cut yourself with the knife. These spines here, these are also razor sharp and you've got to be really, really careful because you can cut your finger on them. Sometimes I just cut them off with the scissors. Sometimes just use the knife and always make sure to cut away from you, not to you. To save spiking yourself or cutting your fingers, I'm taking the dorsal fin off. It's much, much easier and much, much safer. This fish, I'm going to make two nice fillets down each side. Now, if I was going to cook this, this fish whole, I would leave the head on but the one thing I would do, I'd make sure that I take the scales off. And to take the scales off, you need the back of a knife. And just like so, do this. I'm not going to do it all now. I'm just showing you exactly. These are the scales. And you would probably need to do it inside in a sink or somewhere like that. Because if you're cooking the fish whole, you don't want any scales to get in, in, into, into, the, into the fish, into the flesh, because they're quite tough and they're inedible. So, okay, so I'm going to fillet the fish. And the first step is make an incision just under here. And cut around head. Cut quite close to the head because you don't want to lose any meat because fish, fish is too nice to be wasted. So here we are. I'll just give the head a bit of a twist. And, and this is such a big fish not the easiest thing in the world to do. Now the head is gone, our next step is to cut down just down here and the object of the exercise is to get as much flesh off the fish as is possible. Okay, so now we have two beautiful, massive fillets of fish. So and now I'm going to skin them. Okay, first one we get. Yes. Okay, so you just hold the knife just right here. And off you go. Just hold the knife at an angle and pull the skin at the same time while you're doing it. Yeah. 
results really easy. But when I'm doing other fish, this this, this fish actually is is, much, is one of the easier fishes fish to skin. But for instance, if I'm skinning a pollock or a cod or whatever, I'll put it in the fridge for a few hours, and it makes it much easier to skin. So now there we have it, skin off. Ta da! So now I'm going to do fillet number two. And this actually, with all, the, all, the, all these entrails here and everything else, makes super stock. Just boil it up in your pot for an hour or two, and you have the most amazing stock to make fish soup, chowder, anything. Super. fillets. Now for, for two fillets like this, there's enough for four really nice bass, sea bass dinners. So, so I'll just cut them in half. Because this is such, it's such a wonderful fish. Cooking of it is going to be very simple. It's it's a really quality piece of fish. It's not farmed. It's just from the wild Atlantic. So it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So I've just dried it off here with a piece of paper, kitchen paper. I'm going to melt some butter. Add a small little bit of olive oil. Just going to season it. A bit of cracked pepper. This pan is sizzling very beautifully in this pan. The one thing you must not do with, with, with fish is to turn it. Just one time is enough to turn it back. Turn any fish, any fish food. So this is cooking very nicely. Yeah, it's cooking very nicely. Okay. You can see a really nice colour. This fish is cooking very nicely on a high heat. If you just watch it carefully, you can see that it's getting nice, white, just in there. And this is what you want. This is almost ready to turn now. So yeah, I'm going to turn it. And this is the only time I'm going to turn it. See? It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, on average, a fillet this size is maybe take three minutes each side, but you have to wash it. This is not a very, it's not a very fat fillet, so it shouldn't take that long. If you just wash it, it will be very nice. Now, if I was serving this, I would make, um, I would serve it with a green veg, and I would serve it with potatoes of dope and raw maybe. It tastes it go really, really good with it. They're, they're creamed potatoes. They're really nice to fry fish. Not quite cooked yet. If you want to be really sure that the fish is cooked properly, just check it. You see a little pink piece still here, so it needs a few more minutes. Because this is wild Atlantic bass, it doesn't need anything, it can stand on its own. 
It doesn't need sauce. It doesn't need anything. Because it's, it's, it's lovely, fresh, good quality. Um, fish. No? And the fish is like to be cooked now. See? See? There's no pink pieces there. It's just beautifully cooked. All this fish needs is a bit of lemon, a bit of parsley, and pesto. This is what we're going to call Patricia's Wild Atlantic Bass.